Welcome to the special edition of the Academic Show coming to you live from the venue of the Todd Achebe Colloquium, which is at Brown University. Uh, this special edition, we are going to talk to Nigerians and Africans and uh, experts who came to the show to um, discuss Africa. And, um, to be very interesting and we want to, to watch. Oh. Don't go down that that is, is, that well, that that is, is that me. That is, that is me. That is me. That what that a day. Is. I am and this is the keeping it real. It is. I keep it real. Yeah. What are you keeping it real? You keep me real. What are you keeping it real? I keep asking yeah. that real. <laughs> Why do you have drama? And it's a word. Well, it's, it's damaging so it's trying to damage things. Are you a real doctor? No. I know that to break it down and open it up and then you build it up. Why did you get your degree? My degree at the University of uh, Toronto. We have all the bridge. Yeah. And uh, I'm getting a PhD. My PhD is from the same university that uh, uh, Andrew Bagot is a PhD. PhD, yeah. that is the common thing in Nigeria. You should be president. You have to have to find it identified. We will be impressed. This is our 20th episode in TV world. It's a big deal. I understand that my TV network has a brand new Toyota Camry parked outside for me. A gift for the first person, the first goal line. Oh yeah. I want to thank you, our viewers, for staying with the show for this long. In the next 20 episodes, we will expand and innovate. Yeah. We will bring you new characters. Yeah. But the first change is that I am now standing up. Yeah. It is show time and there is no more sitting down. <laughs> not for me and not for President Good Lord Jonathan. Yeah. Oh yeah. As you must have heard, he has told Nigerians threatening to revolt because he wants to remove oil subsidy to bring it on. I tell you, something in the bush is beating a drum for the president. That's Muhammad Gaddafi. Oh, yeah. For a CC president like Jonathan. Oh. To all of a sudden, grew balls. And <laughs> they are all Nigerians, restless youths, and civil society. Something is pumping <laughs> his <laughs> Something is pumping his blood. Man. I conducted an <laughs> investigation <laughs> on what could be <laughs> responsible. Here is what I found. It moved you there, oh my people give a listening hairs. His Majesty Rose is moving just like a magnet. Mm -hmm. To show you how serious he was, at the presentation of the 2012 budget at the National Assembly, President Jonathan ordered his security men to beat up 12 of his ministers for daring to wear a hat that says oil subsidy stays. No. Oh yeah, that's real, yeah. Talking about oil, in it has been just uh, revealed that NNPC could not account for 65,000 barrels of oil a day. Does that alone? That is the oil that NNPC is giving to refine for Nigerians. Hmm. 
those looking for it were focused on the wrong places. The oil has always gone to the bellies of these three Nigerians. <laughs> Mr. Pius Anyi, <laughs> Mrs. Patience Jonathan, <laughs> and Alhaji Abubakar Alhaji. The rest is used to produce makeup for the Minister of Petroleum, oh. Mrs. Deziane Alison Madeke. That's right. Wow. That's right. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. In Boko Haram news, mm. all the former national security advisors met in Abuja this week. These five Alahajis met at an undisclosed location to discuss Boko Haram. Mm. These are the top 10 questions they try to answer at the meeting. Number 10, how do we put this journey back into the bottle? Mm. Number 9, are you sure that our fingerprints have been del deleted from the bombs? What? Wow. Number 8, wasn't it a mistake to have let General Sani Abacha to die on top of a woman? Mm. Wow. Number seven, how did we lose one shoulder to surface missile? Oh, no. <laughs> Number six, shall we tell the president? Hmm. <laughs> Number five, who let the dogs out in Lagos? <laughs> <laughs> Number four, who amongst us is gay? Number three, who is Ruben Abati working for? <laughs> Number two, who is the power behind the Christian Association of Nigeria? <laughs> and the number one question they tried to answer was, how do we stick together after one of us is busted by the FBI? <laughs> Meanwhile, in far away Singapore, a Nigerian student from Yobe State has won the best artificial intelligence research award. His research uses artificial intelligence tools to prospect for oil in shallow and deep waters. Mm. Oh yeah, very good. Speaking to the press after receiving the award, the young man said that his next research topic is how to use artificial intelligence to identify potential Boko Haram members while they were still in the womb. <laughs> Still on Boko Haram, last week, the Odua People's Congress, OPC, demonstrated in Lagos as a way of warning Boko Haram not to attempt any of their bombing nonsense in Lagos. Mm. The OPC soldiers openly displayed their guns, knives, and juju armlets. Okay. The OPC and Boko Haram are two different militant groups. One displays its firing power at the battlefront. The, the other one is OPC. <laughs> <laughs> Talking about fighters, the commandant of the Nigerian Defense Academy, NDA, Major General Chukwu Emeka Onwamwebu, <laughs> announced this week that the NDA is working on modalities to train military officers in the moon. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Why are you laughing? Have you all started writing your own punchline? <laughs> General Onwamwebu told visiting lawmakers that civilians will also be taken out to outer space to enjoy the benefit of NDA's technological advancement. <laughs> when the general asked the lawmakers to volunteer to be the first to go to moon, they all declined, asking him to instead take Pastor T.B. Joshua. <laughs> <laughs> Still on the military, the Nigerian Air Force has produced its first female military pilot. That cannot be good news for any group threatening the corporate existence of Nigeria. Mm. Now, when you hear the commander say, hit men who oppose, don't confuse it with hit men oppose. <laughs> <laughs> From now on, agents of the EFCC will undergo a lie dictator test every six months. But lie to lie. According to the agency's acting chairman, the goal is to get rid of bad eggs among them. What? Yeah, yeah, chairman. <laughs> Make you go sit down. <laughs> Didn't an ex ray machine discover drugs in the belly of Babasue? Okay, that's true. And then what? Yeah. Elushevin Adenye, the former spokesman of late President Umaru Yaradua, has published a tell-all book. The book's title tells you all you need to know about the content. Mm -hmm. It is called 
how President Umaru Yaradoa turned me into a hypocrite. Whoa. I've received an advanced copy of the book. <laughs> so come with me. Let me read for you some wonderful paragraphs from the book. Okay. Uh, this is from the introduction. Okay. And he says, just like you and I, I knew Yeradua would die someday. Hmm. I wanted to be the first to write his obituary. It was the greatest honor I could give to the man. Hmm. Yeah. I wanted Yeradua to read it while resting in a hospital bed in Saudi Arabia. Hmm. Unfortunately, I did not have the courage to do so. What? Oh yeah, he continued. Welcome to Fosville Luxury Hotel. At Fosville Luxury Hotel, we offer excellent service. Our rooms have all the necessary facilities to make your stay comfortable and memorable. You will also have access to internet service, breakfast, 24 hour power supply, full air condition, free international calls, free time pumping service, and free car battery charge. So, what are you waiting for? Quickly visit Fosville Luxury Hotel. We are located as number one at Delhi Roba Michele off Raja Rasaki Road, First Estate, Amuo or the Fifth Stack Village. For more information or reservation, please call. Call us on 080 or 080 You can also take advantage of our online ongoing promo at www.fossvhotel.com to make your reservation and payment for your favorite room, which attracts a discount rate. Please note, rooms are reserved based on first come, first serve. Fossvhotel experience the home of comfort. They come, they come.